everyone! In this video series, we're going to create a stylized tree. This series is especially aiming for advanced users, so if you're having trouble following, you can either check out another video I made on how to create a low poly tree, or of course, ask in the comments. Beside that, let's get into it. Let's first start by deleting the default cube and then creating a new plane. With this plane selected, switch into edit mode and then go to the um, edge select mode and select three of the four edges and then press X and delete those ones. So we now have one edge left. So back into vertex mode, we can select one of the edges and then press Shift S and then choose selection to cursor. So now one vertex is directly at the center and the other one we can move up. So this is kind of going to be our tree trunk. So I'm just here switching from side to front view and then trying to position that one vertex directly on top of the other, but it doesn't have to be really precise. Okay, next we're gonna add two modifiers. The first one is gonna be the skin modifier and the second one is going to be the subdivision surface modifier. Now for creating the tree, I always like to have a size reference. So if you're exporting the tree later on, you don't have to scale it or something. So I'm just gonna create a new cube and then placing it a little bit behind of my tree trunk. Um, and then I can always see how big the tree is actually gonna be. Okay, so with the tree selected and back into edit mode, um, you can choose one of the vertices and then move them around with G extrude them with E and then slowly build up your tree. For scaling a single vertex, you cannot use S, but you have to use control A. Um, I'm gonna use that to create a, like a bit more bigger bottom and then go to the top more smaller and tinier. When working on a tree, also make sure that you go in different views and try to expand it in all directions. Otherwise it's gonna be looking really flat at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my tree like this, so just a really basic shape, nothing special. And when you're happy with your shape, um, go back into object mode and then duplicate your tree. Okay, so the duplicate tree is going to be the tree that I'm gonna keep on working now. So I'm gonna apply um, the modifiers and the other one is going to be my backup. So at any point, if I want to change the shape of the tree, I can always go back to that one. Okay, with the modifiers applied and in edit mode, we can check out how many faces our object has. So currently I have a bit under thousand faces and for me, I think that's too much. So I want the whole tree in the end to have not more than a thousand faces. So if I'm adding now leaves, it's gonna be more than a thousand. Um, so what I'm gonna do is gonna try to reduce some of the faces, which I think they're not necessary. Okay, so what you can do is simply select one of those edge loops that you think are not really necessary and then slide them towards another one. So simply select them with um, Alt or Option and then press G twice to move them along um, the other faces. Most of the cleanup I'm gonna do is in the top branches because they don't need all that topology that they have right now there. They will be mostly hidden underneath the leaves um, so I'm just gonna leave most of the topology on the bottom and the top I try to reduce as much as I can. Okay, so currently we only move vertices. Um, so what we wanna do now is actually clean the mesh up. Um, you can do so by going in the menu to mesh and then clean up and then merge by distance. So in my case, at the bottom message, I can see it deleted about 250 vertices. That's perfect. I can also change the distance, um, but here it's not necessary because we put them directly on top of each other. After this cleanup, my tree is now down to about 700 faces. I think I can go down a bit more, um, especially in the top, but for the rest, I'm just gonna leave it like this. For the end part of the branches, I think I can also reduce some of the faces. So what I did is uh, simply select the vertices around the middle one, that's kind of the last one, and then merge them together. If you do have a lot of time, you could also actually go ahead and later create a proper retopology from your high poly mesh. But in this case, I'm just a bit lazy and gonna use this one as my low poly mesh. 
Now after a few cleanups and then also reducing the faces at the bottom of the tree, I'm gonna do one last time um, the cleanup, merging all the vertices together that are now double. And this is now leaving me with 660 faces for this whole tree. And I think that's um, fine and we can work with that. Okay, that was it for this part. In the next one, we're gonna do sculpting, UV mapping, and maybe also shading. I'm not sure yet about that. We're gonna see. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Of course, I would really appreciate it. And then I will see you in the next one.